Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a preview for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms and Hershey Bears for my Sports Fanatic news page and the Flyers Nitty Gritty YouTube page. I am Joe Boric, a.k.a. Projo. Let's get right into it, as these are two of the best team uh, in the AHL squaring off tonight on a nationally televised game that NHL Network picked up the service electric network station. The Phantoms are 10-3-2 and uh, heading into this with the Hershey Bears at 11-4-2. Uh, when you come into this game, the Phantoms are obviously coming off of a great game their last time out, putting up six goals against the Binghamton Devils, where Ryan Fitzgerald actually scored two goals in that game. And both um, Wilman and Allison had three-point nights and very good games of their own. And Derek Pouillat continued to look successful moving the puck around. I think he's been a great veteran leader for their defense. And also, we have to give a shout-out to Zane McIntyre, who became a dad. Um, it was in the uh, release for the game preview today that Bob Rotruck wrote up so nicely, saying we are pleased to announce the newest addition to the Phantoms family. Zane McIntyre is a proud new father. Miriam Sue McIntyre was born on March 28, 2000. At 438 a.m. So congratulations to the goaltender Zane McIntyre who's been phenomenal in net with the games he's got in this year for the Phantoms. Congratulations to him on his first child. And we're also on milestone watch heading into this game as big news for the Phantoms for Scott Gordon. Uh, Scott Gordon's heading into this game with 399 wins, only five other coaches, uh, Roy Summer. Um, Fred Bun Cook, Frank Mathers, John Paddock, and John Anderson have ever reached 400 wins. Once um, Gordo gets that one more win, he is going to get to 400 wins, and hopefully that happens tonight against these Hershey Bears. Um, this is going to be a preview to the Bears and Phantoms. Please stay tuned tomorrow when I record a video that's more in depth on a season check in on the Phantoms as far for Flyers Nitty Gritty and my Sports Fan News page. And please like, comment, and subscribe to both pages. We really do appreciate your support. And thank you for checking everything out that we do. But <clears throat> a key player to watch for the Phantoms, you know, I'm always going to include is just because he flies around the ice. Plays great out there. I love him. He got his two-way contract that he rightfully deserved. 12 points in 14 games, 7 goals, 5 of 6. Matt Willman averaging .86 points per game. Uh, Max Willman's a player that just continues to get better and show savviness on the ice. Even when he doesn't score a point, he's always out there bringing in that great 100% effort. Great on the forecheck, great with the tenacity. Same with Tanner Lozinski, who looked great out there all season and then now finally has got rewarded uh, with potting the goals and actually has six goals um, in the past uh, last four games, which is absolutely ridiculous, and one to win it against the Binghamton Devils on a through-the-legs move. So this kid's playing very commonly coming from the Ohio State University. I actually asked him about that on the post-game uh, press conference um, after the one game against Binghampton. And uh, he did say how much playing for a program like that, uh, paraphrasing, helped him to prepare for the AHL and the pros. And you can see that coming from a six-round pick. This kid looks more than ready uh, to take the step for the AHL and is probably right on the cusp of being one of those guys that Fletcher mentioned in his press conference of getting caught up. So he's definitely a guy you got to look out for. My guy, Derek Pouillat, you definitely have to look out for. A player to always watch out for is whoever um, is the goaltender. I'm um, coming in in the net um, that evening because you always want to obviously uh, make the goaltender one of the players to watch out for. He's the most important position out there. And I think if it's Sandstrom who did get moved back down um, and Lyon got moved back up, or if it's McIntyre, if he is, um, I haven't been able to follow whether he reported back with the team now after having his kid. But if it ends up being Zane, I think it would be either way. I'm very confident against the Sergi Bears team with both of those goaltenders because I'm very confident, excuse me, in both of those goaltenders. So whether it's Sandstrom, which I feel like would be more likely since Zane just had his kid, um, or it's McIntyre, I'm very confident uh, in this game. And the Phantoms to be able to play a very good game tonight. Um, they've looked fantastic of late, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms have. Um, the Phantoms have now won, I believe... Um, if I remember the exact number correctly, the Phantoms have now won. What is it of their list? I'm blanking on what it is of their list. Few games. Let me look at the schedule. They won one, two, three. One, two, three, 
four, five, five of their last six games. That's what it is. Sorry, I apologize. I forgot to write that stat down. They've won five of their last six games because they won on the 8th, didn't play the 10th game, one on the 14th, one on the 21st, one on the 26th, and one on the 27th coming into this game, and then ended up losing against Hershey on the 24th. Um, this is a team you have to watch Garrett P on, the uh, third-round pick that the Capitals picked from 2016 is really starting to come into his own this year. He's above a points per game, 1.14 points per game, 16 points and 14 tilts. You obviously have to watch Joe Snively, who's a very good uh, AHL player. Uh, maybe he'll get a chance eventually with the catch, but definitely uh, doing his thing in the AHL uh, and continues to do his thing there, 12 points in 17 games. Former NHLer that has 30 goal seasons in the NHL, still around in the AHL, Matt Molson, their captain. 12 points in 17 games, you always have to watch him. Um, and then Connor McMichael, one of the top prospects of the Capitals, uh, always is flying around the ice. He's a guy you definitely need to watch, as well as a veteran defenseman they brought back in Cameron Schilling. And I think a guy that's just looked pretty good against us, Gersick has as well, but Axel Johnson Fialbi, I feel like against the Phantoms, has continuously been in every game I've watched against this team this year, flying around the ice. So you want to make sure you mark him and be able to put somebody on him that can stick with him and stay up to the pace that he actually plays the game at as well. So I think that's somebody you got to mark and you got to watch as well, Axel Johnson, Fialbi. But those would be my players to watch. Connor McMichael, Captain Matt Molson, Garrett Peon, the third-round pick that's really coming into his own. Um, Martin Fioravari would be another, um, I would say, because he's a guy that can really scrap you as a defenseman, a tough guy that tries to get under your skin sometimes. There he is, 25 penalty minutes. Um, I think he's a guy you could watch a little bit out to. Don't let him uh, entice you at all. But actual Johnson Fialbi, just from the perspective of how I think this kid's played and looked against the Phantom, would be able to mark him. Don't let his speed get the best of you like it did on his one goal against them this year. So I think he's a guy you want to be able to make a marked man as well. Um, when it comes to the goaltending, if it's going to be Phoenix Copley or Zach Fukali, uh, Zach Fukali has actually looked better than Copley this year. He has a 149 and 942. Uh, Copley's been struggling a bit with an 885 this year when he's usually been one of the AHL's best. I still think their goaltending is some of the best in the league. Um, Copley still is 4 and 2 this year, so they played in front of him. He'll figure it out. I think both of these teams have some of the better AHL goaltending. I think it's bound to just be a great game again. The Phantoms are looking good this year against the Bears, though. They're 4 and 2 against the Bears, when last year they were 2 6 and 1, so they're showing great improvement. Seems showing great improvements overall. I look for Lozinski to continue to do good. Max Willman to be a player this game, as well with Pouillot and whatever netminder we decide to go to a McIntyre Sandstrom. I think they're definitely going to be able to do very, very good and be very successful in that. I see the Phantoms winning this game. I feel like this is going to be a close game, though. I'm going to predict the score to being 3-2 to two Lehigh Valley Phantoms because this is always a great battle, a great tilt between the rivals uh, when we play them. And then I think this is just going to end up being very close because I think it's going to be a defensive game, a game that will whoever they decide to throw a net in this one for each team are both going to have very good games. And both defenses that have been good this season are going to have good games. And hopefully... There's not a lot of penalties taken, or PK is the best in the league, but it's been over. We've been taking extra penalties to use it a lot more in recent games. Eventually, that'll catch up to you, so you also want to bring back on that. But I really love the way the Phantoms are doing, winning five of the last six, looking really good, having a great month of March, exactly opposite of the Flyers. You also have to give a big congratulations to Morin for scoring his first goal in the NHL, a former Lehigh Valley Phantoms player, now looking good in the first three games this season at defense for the Flyers. So shout out to him and Ghost for clearing waivers as well to stay in the organization. So I think this will be a great game tonight. Definitely um, check it out. It's going to be on NHL Network. They're picking up the Service Electric broadcast tonight at 7 p.m. against the Hershey Bears in Lehigh Valley at the PPL Center. I believe the Phantoms are going to take the game 3-2, to two, and the key players are going to be the Willman, Lazinski, and then obviously Allison line. That line's going to be key. But also check out, look out for Ryan Fitzgerald's line with O'Reilly and others as always. That line is very pivotal as well. Um, so I think you're going to be able to see a great game out of this Phantoms and continue to see success from this team. I predict a 3-2 to two win. Thank you all for checking out this video for Flyers Nitty Gritty and Sports Fanatic News. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate your support. And have a great, safe, and pleasant day. And enjoy all the great hockey action, everybody. Peace out.